The sense of being buried in the ground and dying is not something we experience only as individuals. The church is also going through a challenging time. There are still restrictions on the numbers that may gather in person for the Eucharist and on celebrating other sacraments. Many children have had their first Holy Communion and their confirmation delayed. Catechism classes are still on hold in many places. Special feast days are not able to be celebrated as we usually would. I miss going into the church and praying in front of the Blessed Sacrament, or noticing the distinctive purple Lenten Sacrificium posters. I miss seeing the familiar faces of friends and community in person on a Sunday. And yet, I suspect that God is doing something at this time. Perhaps we have been shaken out of the familiarity or even complacency of how things have always been done. In the darkness of not knowing, are we perhaps being free to listen attentively to God's desires for us as church at this moment in our history? As the prophet Isaiah reminds us, God is always doing a new thing. I wonder what God may be germinating as the church lies in the darkness of the soil waiting. We have had to surrender control. What new harvest might spring up once God's rain and sun have fallen on that dark earth? Perhaps a crop of new possibility far beyond anything that we could have dreamt of. Will there be changes to how we live as church? We need not fear this time of being buried in the ground. God is constantly at work. God, the master gardener, knows exactly when to plant, when to water, and when to harvest. Let us consider today, what new thing might God be doing in the darkness for us as church? And what questions do I have about myself as part of the church that may have arisen in this time of pandemic?